remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. The National Association of Ijo Female Students and Alumni Southwest Nigeria gathered in Lagos last week to celebrate its 20th anniversary in grand style. The association, established in 2004, amongst other things, has been carrying out an aggressive de-warming campaign across the creeks and hard to reach areas in the Niger Delta region. Respected Ijo sons and daughters who graced the event, which doubled as their 2024 convention, commended the students and alumni for staying true to the vision of the association over the past two decades and counting. Last week, members of the National Association of Ijo Female Students, alongside alumni, their grand patron, Comrade Joseph Eva, and other distinguished guests came together for a remarkable two-fold ceremony. The event celebrated the association's 20th anniversary and served as its national convention, reflecting two decades of unwavering commitment to empowering the Ijo girl child and driving impactful change in the Niger Delta. The association was birthed in February 2004 when the coordinator of the Ijo Monitoring Group, Comrade Joseph Eva, inaugurated all female delegates present at the 28th Convention of the National Union of Izoebe Students in Torugbene, Delta State, as its pioneer members. Defying all odds, this group of students propelled by the unwavering support and determination of Comrade Eva has firmly established its presence across nearly all tertiary institutions in Nigeria. The founder and now grand patron of the association, Comrade Eva, reminisced on the inspiration behind the establishment. He highlighted the need to mobilize and empower each of female students, enabling them to support one another in pursuing their dreams and creating a brighter future for themselves and the Ijo ethnic group in the Niger Delta region. What, what propelled me first? I lost my two kids sisters because of pollution in my community, Ekobana, where I was born. I was lucky to escape to Lagos because women have that passion for what they can do for children. So uh, it will be bigger than this. Well, some of them are now giving back. Some of them that are now graduates are also sponsoring a lot of things. Dignitaries at the event took turns congratulating the association on its remarkable 20-year journey. They encourage members to remain steadfast in upholding the vision of the organization and lauded the grand patron, Comrade Eva, for founding the association and also his unwavering support and mentorship over the years. It is a worthwhile celebration and a monumental achievement, simply because uh, the originator, the founder of the program, Comrade Joseph Eva, has invested his money, his time and his energy on the welfare and success of his own female students for over two decades now. 20 years is two decades. Once upon a time, whenever they come to where we come from, they will say they cannot employ us because we are uneducated. We are undereducated. But today I'm looking in this school and I'm seeing For two decades now, the association has transcended the boundaries of just universities and other tertiary institutions. It has become a household name in the creeks and remote areas of the Niger Delta, where it's providing vital support to the poor and vulnerable. This includes initiatives like the warming campaigns for children, educational sponsorships and training programs aimed at empowering women and girls in underserved communities. The ceremony climaxed with the cutting of the anniversary cake, a moment filled with excitement and so much fun there.
inside the Niger Delta. 